What's up Nitro gang? I finally got myself a brand new Nitro. It's been quite a while since I had anything new on my channel in terms of Nitros because guys, I am used to basically working on stuff like this. This is an old Traxxas T-Max. It's got a whole bunch of problems. I call this the way too many problems Traxxas T-Max. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, yeah, I have all the parts more on this later. I wanted something that I could just take out of the box Really anybody could also take out of the box and get it running. A lot of what I do on my channel is repairing and restoring older RCs. Now that is fun, but it is not for everybody. If you're just getting into this hobby, you need something that's kind of budget oriented, that has everything you need to go and is cheap. Well, I think this is gonna be a contender for you. This is from Banggood, I have it in the original box. Now, this box, it's just a generic box, keep in mind. The brand is HSP. It was only $245 on Banggood. It's available from the USA Warehouse, and you can get it in a matter of a week right now. This particular one is this right here. We have the short course model. We're gonna unbox it, we're gonna take a look inside, see what it comes with, and I will give my own opinion for the Nitro Gang, right? Because my shirt says Nitro Gang, so that's who this video is for, in case you were wondering who it's for. Okay, let's open it up. We have instructions, we have some uh, parts catalogs. Let's throw this away. I'm just kidding, I'm gonna look at this later because, uh, you know, sometimes interesting stuff in here. Let's remove this and then we'll get the car out. So this comes fully ready to run. The radio is right over here. It's a 2.4 gigahertz unit. You know, we're gonna take a look at it in a little bit. I already see something I like. The steering wheel has a foam grip. Has a pretty good feel for the belays. Let's take the car out of here because that's what we all came to see. In fact, I'm actually very excited myself. This is my favorite part as well. Here we go. It's an eighth scale nitro, baby. Oh, looks nice right out of that box. Okay, let's get this box out of here. It's clogging up my work area. Guys, this thing is quite impressive. I'm gonna remove the body in a second. Just wanted to give you a very close up point of view of what it looks like out of the box. In case you're wondering how big is this, well, they're both eighth scales. This is my ZD Racing Buggy, one of my favorite ones I also got on Banggood. Guys, you could tell that they're wheelbase, right? It is the same, so if I line up the wheels, they are identical, but of course the short course body, it does tend to be a little bit longer than your average 8th scale buggy. So the chassis are nearly identical, right? The wheelbase is the same as mentioned. What matters is the nitro power plant that this thing has to offer. Electric is great and all. Some of you guys ask me, well, uh, does the nitro gang have electrics? Of course we got electrics, come on. I'm a lover of the entire RC genre. It just so happens that when I first got into the RC hobby, Nitro, that's where it was at. Electrics at that time, uh, they were lagging behind unless of course you had some kind of race built specific, you know, hand wound, really modified, matched batteries in there. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay, let's put this away. We're gonna look at this. Out of the box, I do not see anything wrong with the body. It is obviously new, right? Pretty good looking chassis. You have your standard short course bumpers here in the back. In fact, this is just like the Exceed Rally Monster, which I've done many videos on in my channel, and it's one of my favorites. What I like about the eight scale chassis is the wheels. These are 17 millimeter hubs. This means you could get yourself some cheap, you know, buggy wheels, and you will be good. In fact, that ZD Racing Bucky I just showed you guys, those were like an $18 set of wheels. And um, they are, you know, kicking ass out on the streets to this day. Let's check out the suspension out of the box as I uh, push it up and down. Very well dampened. Honestly, very surprised on this thing. Check this out. Look at that. No weird springiness. No weird, you know, bumps up and down. The dampening is incredible. Wheels, I like this design. They are very good looking. The rubber, soft, it's smooth. I could tell there's a good amount of uh, foam on the inside of this rubber. It's gonna handle quite well. Okay, let's remove the body and we'll take a look at 
the heart, the power plant of this thing. And that is a nitro motor, baby. That's what it's all about. This one in particular, as I take the shell off. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Oh, yeah, it's an SH.21, baby. That's right. Okay, so I was looking online and uh, this motor is about $125 brand new just for this motor. Now, considering this entire chassis is only $245, that is quite a bargain, I must say. Smooth, guys. Really, really smooth. Now, the shocks themselves, you know, at this price point, you're not going to get aluminum bodied shocks. So the shock bodies are plastic, but you do have aluminum uh, caps on top and they are threaded. So that should be good. This thing is actually not that heavy. So I think. It'll stand up to a good amount of abuse. It should be absolutely no issues. From this angle, we have a good look at the drivetrain. I am very happy and surprised to say that this thing has a metal spur gear. Oftentimes, for this price point, you're not going to get a metal spur. That is nice to see. Nice aluminum tuned pipe. The entire fuel tubing system is routed very well. And let me look inside this gas tank. Is there a filter inside? Hopefully we could see this on camera. Yes, there is a permanent built-in filter there in the bottom of the tank. Now, of course, you should still install an inline fuel filter just for security reasons, but that is nice to see that they have a built-in fuel filter here. This air filter is what's known as a breather style air filter. So what happens is this is mostly just a plastic cover on the filter on the outside here is where the air enters the filter. In case you wind up driving through water and water does make its way into the filter, well the lowest point will be at the bottom here. The filter will most likely not suck water into the nitro motor, which I already have a lot of experience with on my own OS 18TZ Revo. Really nice thought in case you were wondering, well, no, oh, why do they go all this way to make sure the air filter is waterproof? Well, the electronics are also waterproof. I could see it says right here. Now the steering servo, we're gonna check it in a second. I'm gonna put the batteries in the remote off camera, but this is rated at 15 kilograms and the throttle servo is rated at six. 15 kilograms for, you know, a price point like this is honestly quite remarkable. In terms of the aluminum, parts on this chassis. Well, we have fairly solid rear aluminum shock towers. These things, man, I can, can't even bend them. The front, we also got pretty solid aluminum shock towers. We have composite chassis supports, front and rear. Other than that, pretty normal, you know, eight scale buggy chassis. Of course, this is made to look like a short course truck and I don't see absolutely anything wrong with that. Let's see what the hubs look like on the inside. As I mentioned, these are 17 millimeter hubs. So you have absolutely no issues getting tires for these. This will be a piece of cake. Let's see. Yep, there we go. 17 millimeter serrated hub. Nice. I got nothing bad to say about this. In terms of slop, let me see. Yeah, your eight scale buggy steering system very solid built-in servo saver. I like this thing. Let's check out the electronics. I put batteries in this thing off camera because um, I'm running out of video editing space on my computer, you know? That's just how it is. Okay, this is the radio box. It's all sealed. Our receiver is in the compartment right on the side. Pretty much similar as any 8-scale nitro buggy uh, setup. Radio, four double A's, guys. Let's see. Yep, four double A's. I went all out and got Energizer this time, so just so you know. I felt like telling everybody that for some reason. Okay, boom, there you go. It's on, look at that, it steers perfectly. Absolutely no issues, guys. Throttle servo, perfect. Brakes, perfect. By the way, these buggy chassis have uh, adjustable front to rear brake bias. So you can adjust your braking in the front and in the back, all with the center layout here. I'm not gonna get into the details of that, but I'll just show you the brakes work, right? I'm gonna push it, the brakes work. The brakes work, boom. There you go, what else you want? The steering works. Perfect. Let's see. 
speed wise I would say this is very adequate also the range of steering is surprisingly good I'm honestly surprised that it even has this much throw left to right this is pretty pretty rare man I, I like this thing I don't know I'm gonna use this pretty good the fuel tank fairly large I don't think I've pointed this out before but yeah fairly large fuel tank really strong spring on top keeping this fuel tank closed you really want that these big block engines they suck in a lot of fuel and you really want to create the best vacuum possible so let's see whether the fail safe on the system is correctly set up oftentimes beginners do not know how to set the fail safe let me show you exactly what I'm talking about so the radio is on right now right if the receiver somehow loses signal with the car, if the radio goes out of range, whatever the case is, let's say I turn this off, watch this. You guys see that? We have an automatic application of the brakes. That is what the fail safe is. I did not set it, it was set from the factory. As soon as you power the radio back on, boom, we are good to go. So the fail safe is set. This is a major plus in my book. Back in like the early 2000s, you had to buy external fail-safe units. It was annoying to program those. This is, this is nice, guys. In terms of the functionality on the remote, I see a good amount of adjustment knobs here. We have EPA high and low for uh, channel two. We have steering dual rates. We have throttle trim settings, you know, channel reversing. Boom, there you go. The radio works. That's all that matters. $245 built-in failsafe, big block SH-21 motor, you know, waterproof electronics, uh, cool looking polished aluminum tuned pipe, and it's an 8th scale. I don't see how you can go wrong with this kind of value. To be honest with you, this engine alone is worth half the price of this entire RC. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. In the next couple of videos, I will be doing a full break-in first start. My overall impressions we are gonna take this thing to its limit, but not in this video. Why? Because I do things the right way. This was an unboxing. If you're wondering, what's this doing over here? What is this, like the small clone of this? Yeah, it kind of is. This is the 10th scale Exceed Nitro Rally Monster. Check out my playlist on this. It is quite cool, two speed, but it's a small block Nitro. Totally different from this larger brother with an SH power plant here. I've had this one since 2012 guys and guess what it's still shifting I'm still yelling two speed baby every time I go run this I got a top speed of almost 40 miles an hour out of this why because I take care of my nitros I do things the right way I'm not just trying to get another clickbait video and say whoa I'm gonna throw this off a freaking building will it survive that's not how the nitro gang does its business thanks so much for watching comment like Subscribe if you feel like it. I will say hello to you in the comments if you tell me you're a new subscriber. See you later. This is a Nitro short course. Two speed, baby, two speed. Flipping is nothing. No problem. Oh, oh. 
See you later. Schwarzenegger. I need to speak to my wife. Hi, honey. How are you? Hello? 